Greetings, beloved. Don Dukes, Prayer for the Harvest Ministries here, and we will continue our series on the National Day of Prayer, and we are praying today for businesses. We want God to prosper our businesses, and we're looking here at 2 Chronicles chapter 29, verses 17 and 18, and the prayer is that there will be integrity among Christian workers that we will earn the right to be heard when we speak. So in 2 Chronicles mm-hmm. chapter 29, verse 17 and 18, it now reads this way. And now they began to sanctify on the first day of the first month, and on the eighth day of the month, they came to the vestibule of the Lord. So they sanctified the house of the Lord in eight days. And on the sixteenth day of the first month, they finished. Then they went in to King Hezekiah and said, We have cleansed all the house of the Lord, the altar of burnt offerings, and all its articles, and the table of the showbread, with all its articles. They worked with integrity. They were efficient in their work. And and, and the Lord blessed that. They came and told the king that, Hey, we got the work done. Because they did it unto unto God. Uh, We look here at uh, Philippians chapter 2, verses 3 and 4. And it's talking here really about uh, the desire for Christian workers to display a Christ-like attitude. In Philippians chapter 2, verse 3 and 4, it reads this way. Let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit. But in lowliness of mind, let each esteem others better than himself. Let each of you look out not only for his own interest, but also to the interest of others. So join with me in prayer right now for our businesses. Let's all pray together. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray right now for our businesses. We pray, Lord, that you would anoint them. We pray, Lord, that you would bless them. We pray, Father, that you would give us wisdom and the calling and the skill that you have given us. We pray, Father God, that you would bless these businesses in a way that these businesses, Lord, will hire more people, that more people will be able to work and care for their families, communities, and this nation. We pray for large businesses, medium businesses, and small businesses. Lord, they're all the same to you. You just want us to serve you with our gifts and talents and our our treasure, the, the calling you put upon our lives. So, Lord, we pray for any struggling businesses out there, that, Father, that you would encourage these business owners, that you own all things, and, Lord, you will make their way straight, and you will bless and prosper the work of their hands. Bring all businesses good clients, Lord, and that we will act in integrity in our ministry service and our business as well. So we commit our businesses to you, Lord, in the United States of America, all businesses, no matter the size, and watch you bless this nation because the body of Christ and its businesses and other businesses as well will flourish because of you. We are careful to give you all the praise and glory for touching these businesses that you have ordained with all the gifts and talents you've given us. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now the Lord bless you. Uh, May your business, your ministry, whatever your hands is laid on to, prosper. That you'd be blessed and be a blessing to other people. God bless you and we'll be praying together real soon.